South Africans commemorate the 56th anniversary of the Sharpeville Massacre today. On the 21st of March 1960, at least 180 black South Africans were injured and 69 killed when South African police opened fire on approximately 300 demonstrators. They were protesting against the past laws at the township of Sharpeville near Ferenichung in the Transvaal. The day is hallowed on the national calendar as Human Rights Day. Celebrations will be held across the country with President Jacob Zuma leading the national commemoration in King Williamstown in the Eastern Cape. According to the presidency, the highlight of the 2017 commemoration will be the honoring of the black consciousness leader Steve Biko. This year marks 40 years since his murder. This is a significant day uh, for the people of this country, particularly for the liberation movement both the PAC and the ANC because as a result of this day the nature of the struggle in this country changed. It marked the turning point of the struggle against um, apartheid and colonialism. So, And uh, also the significance of today is that uh, uh, it is, this site has now been declared national heritage. Now we are happy it will also be commemorated by the liberation movement together. And we are lucky enough to be joined by Yanga Nayanda from the Supersake Youth Organization regarding human rights. A very good morning to you too. Thank you so much for joining us here on Morning Prime. Firstly, let's start with you. What does Human Rights Day mean to your organization and how will you guys be remembering the Sharpeville massacre and for those who stood up for their rights? Okay, first of all, we are saying a Supersake Youth Organization from Local Project. Human rights should not be racialized. Well, we must not only condemn and speak against them when they are only done by white people. Uh, at, at, during the apartheid, we condemned apartheid as a system. Uh, uh, about nine, nine, 69 comrades were gunned down by apartheid government to, in a shovel. Today, we, we, we condemned it. It was wrong, and it was wrong. It should be condemned. But when, when a fellow African kills an African, we don't condemn. Like the issue of Mugabe. Mugabe killed about 20,000 civilians. No one spoke about it. It is kept quiet. It is swept under carpet. So we, should, we also should condemn such activities, such leaders. Because today we are seeing Mugabe, Robert Gabriel Mugabe as a leader, a role model. Hence he has killed more than 20,000. Mm -hmm. And people are not talking about it. So we must condemn human rights violation, be it it is done by a white person or a black person. So you are saying that today. Indeed, you're saying to condemn that. Now, what will your organization be doing in order to commemorate today's events? Well, today we will be uh, marching from Peria Park uh, to um, the city hall, whereby we'll be having the speeches about uh, the human rights. Uh, the march is in is young South Africans in solidarity with the Matavere land Kukura Hundi victims, uh, genocide Kukura Hundi victims, and uh, it is also um, we are uniting with the xenophobic uh, victims. So we, we are commemorating, we are realizing our brothers that mm -hmm. died for us during the Sharpeville massacres. Mm -hmm. But we are also saying, what do we have to do as young people to champion human rights? Mm -hmm. Hence, we came with, this, with these subtopics. And we have a theater play at Market Theater at 4. The play will be outlining the violations of human rights that happened in Matabeland from 1983 to, to 1987. That is known as Matabeland genocide, popularly known as Kukura Hundi genocide. Oh. So this will be our, 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 our line for today. Wow, and what do you hope to achieve from the march, uh, from the theatre play? Well, we want to create awareness. Kukura Hundi genocide is not known. Robert Mkabe is a cold-blooded murderer, yet he's a president, he's walking free, and people are giving him standing ovation because they don't know the truth. If, if today Helen Zille tweets or, you know, everyone blows out, but if Mugabe kills his fellow black, peop uh, black countrymen, we keep quiet. We don't have to, to, to rationalize, if, as young Mkluze said. We have to call a spade a spade. We have to be fair. Human rights uh, is calling for people to be not be biased by any race or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So we want to 
sensitize people about what happened in Matebele land. And we don't see Robert Mugabe as, as, as a president or as someone that we must give him a standing ovation. He's a murderer, he must be arrested, he must be called to justice. Even today, the Matebele land genocide issue has not been addressed. It has not, there is no uh, justice for that. Mm -hmm. So we, we are realizing that. And we are saying to our fellow South African brothers, let, let us look abroad. The very same guys that we, we are killing during the, we do not want in the xenophobic attacks, are the very same brothers that sacrificed for our freedom during the apartheid era. So we, we want that harmony. Mm -hmm. And we want to see an African, a, a, a future of Africa that is, is fair and we, 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 we want good role models for us. Those that are in front, like Robert Mugabe, have failed us, have failed our African state. Mm -hmm. So you've mentioned the setbacks uh, that we should be focusing on, the awareness that we need to be created. Uh, Yanga, let's turn to you. Looking at how far we've come since 1960, how happy are you or, or rather satisfied with South Africa's progress in the protection and the promotion of human rights? Uh, I can say so far so good. But I want to encourage and I want to highlight on this government, our government should not use they are fail they are failing people when they are failing they they try by arms to shift blame. Like you, you are seeing now we are having we are having xenophobic attacks. Because government is shifting blame, because they cannot condemn crime, they cannot arrest drug dealers. They then they say is these foreigners who are selling drugs. It should be the matter of police to condemn such, not the civilians. And now we are also having uh, uh, issues of tribal nepotism. There is, now they are saying, is these foreigners that are taking the job, yet they, are, they, they, they don't follow. What is the cause of the matter? Like, we, like for example, in Cape Town, we're having a restaurant, Eastern Food Bazaar. It, 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 it had uh, about 98% of Tosa working in the restaurant. Today, it, it is having 98% of Shona's working in the restaurant. And if you do research on them, they are siblings and they are friends. So that is a matter of tribal nepotism. It's the issue of government to attend to such, not civilian, those people, they tend to engage into the attacks because of the failure of government because government now is shifting blame they say no guys we want to deliver but we cannot because of these foreigners so government should not perpetuate xenophobic attacks we condemn xenophobic attacks if we condemn apartheid because it was done by by a white person we should also condemn xenophobic we can't be I, I, like Africans are, are not xenophobic, but it is government that is perpetuating the xenophobic attacks because they are trying to shift blame because they failed to deliver. But I can say so far, our, South Africa has tried. South Africa is giving equal opportunities to everyone, be it you are a, you, you are a foreigner or you are a civilian. Ayanda and Yanga, thank you so much for joining us here on Morning Prime. We really do appreciate your time here this morning. And uh, good luck with the march as well as the theatre play in commemoration for Human Rights Day today.